I go visit Bobby. Really, every week since I could drive. But in the last six months, he's, he's different. He's changed. He, he's giving up. You have no idea what it's like to watch someone you love so much give up on their life. A chance to make them feel... You saw something up there? I saw it. It was real. Maybe you've just got a lot on your mind. Have you talked to your folks about this? My parents already think I'm nuts. Do you think it's crazy? People's spirits hanging around after they're dead. No. There's something about that land out there. It gets a hold of people and it doesn't want to let them go. I am so stupid. I read the instructions. I did everything right. I don't understand how this happened. What am I going to do? Michael's going to be here to pick me up in less than an hour. I already tried eyebrow pencil. That just made me look like a clown. Maybe he won't notice. Oh, am I kidding? Of course he's gonna notice. I have no eyebrows. The doctor said your cuts look self-inflicted. That's what he said, that you did this. You actually think I would do this to myself? Why won't you believe me? How can we just tell me? I mean, we thought you had put this all behind you. Why do you keep blaming everything on me? Oh God, you never listen to me. And what, we're supposed to pretend like we're some big happy family again? I can't do this. Jess, let her go. It's not like gas is something you own or wear. You just put it in your car and it goes. You shouldn't have to pay for that. There is no way you are making me feel guilty for this. The woman's not going to have to pay for anything. It's Amco. They have money. And didn't they kill some animals in some oil spill? This is like their karmic payback. Anyway, it's over. The machine sucked it up, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, come about. on, Caroline. I've been waiting for Jordan to ask me out for like my whole life. Okay, fine. So it's only been three weeks. But it feels like my whole life. All we need is a ride. I already asked mom. She can't take it. She's got her pottery class. Please, I'll, I'll do your chores tomorrow. All week? What do I look like? Cinderella? <laughs> Guess that makes you the ugly stepsister. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. You, you said all this? Because that is what everybody wanted me to say. And they were not going to let me get out, have any freedom until I went to the grand jury and said something to the grand jury. I mean, I lied. <sighs> They wanted this thing over worse than anybody does. How do you know that? Hmm? Are you able to explain to me, or is this just a feeling that you get? Look, Frank Gable is an escape girl. I mean, no, no, I, I don't want to do this anymore. All I wanted to do was, was set the record straight so that everybody would know Frank Gable was innocent. Okay, I, I, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. The last time I got invited to a dissection party. Hey, Kimberly, we're all spending the night tomorrow at Lisa's house and we were hoping you'd bring your collection of lizard spleens. <sighs> People think that I'm, well, you know, weird. Maybe we should both find that out. We can't just go back to the way things were. <sighs> Look, being with you is all that I know too but I'm not sure that it's right anymore. I do, I know for both of us. Chelsea has made you feel the tiniest bit of doubt for the first time and it freaks you out so much that you turn against me. Screw you, Frankie. Maybe it's not Chelsea that makes me feel insecure. It's you. Okay. Hi, my name is Angel Joy. I'm five feet, six inches tall, and I'm from the Cleveland, Ohio area. 